everyone. Many congratulations on this. And um, I know that, you know, we're going to have a long conversation about the film, about um, your association with Netflix, with Eternal Sunshine. But now that we're on the subject of Eternal Sunshine, is there someone very special you'd like to call on stage? Yeah, of course. Uh, so when we started this journey, little, I think probably a little under three years back, sometime in November of 2019, we narrated the film to her. And she loved it. I mean, loved it to the extent that not just she wanted to act on it, but wanted to take the plunge as a producer. So, without any further delay, let me invite my partner producer, a super, someone who has a fabulous creative eye for, uh, we have seen this journey that how sharp she is on creative and actor, co-producer, Alia Bhatt on stage. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I am very excited and very nervous. But because I am not only here as an actor, I am here as a producer. And I have to thank Gaurav and Red Chilies for being so supportive of this idea and actually pushing me to do this along with you as a producer. So thank you so much. Pleasure is all ours. Eternal Sunshine Productions है मेरे production house का नाम boutique production house है it's still very cute and small but the symbolism is sunshine तो मैं आज आपके लिए sun बन कर आई हूँ और shine तो आप हमेशा ही करती हैं I hope yes but literally I've come dressed like the sun for you I've taken over. No, no, no. As you should. I promise you, between you and me, they'd rather listen to you than me. No. <laughs> so it's totally fine. <laughs> no, but you know, Alia, this is great. We have tons of conversations to make over here. We want to know more about uh, the film, um, the fact that you're a first-time producer, and to many, many more. But most importantly, this film wouldn't have been possible without a really important person. And I'm going to let you do the honors to invite her on stage. Yes. So, this is Jasmeet K. Reen's first film as a director and I really want you all to give her a lot of love and the hugest round of applause because without Jasmeet none of this would have been possible. Eternal sunshine may not have happened in the year of 2022 if it wasn't for Jasmeet. So without further ado I want to bring on our darling director who I call director sahib and who I call producer sahib. But director sahib just meet, please come on stage and please guys give her a round, big round. It's my first film, so it's very, very special. I want to thank uh, Eternal Sunshine and Red Chilies for giving me the freedom to make this film the way I want to, I wanted to and giving me a fantastic cast and crew to be able to collaborate with. So thank you. And I uh, hope we made, we've all made this with a lot of love. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Well, there's only going to be love and more love and more love pouring in because there's only talent and more talent and more talent that keeps pouring in on stage today. Yes, um, I have no words for this one, but Powerhouse performer. I know I'm stating the most, um, the most well-earned cliche in the business, but she's all that and much more, guys. Put your hands together the one, for the one and only Shifali Shah. Wonderful, as is everyone else. How are you feeling to be on stage today for Darlings? Uh, first and foremost, hello, Darlings. <laughs> um, I'm so happy to be here to share stage with such amazing people. And uh, Jasmeet, uh, Alia, Gaurav, everyone, uh, Netflix, Monica. I mean, this would not have been possible without anyone and uh, who's going to come and join us soon. So I really hope you all feel as much love for Darlings as we did and we do for it. And thank you for being here. And 
Yeah. Absolutely. And yes, she cued me into, uh, into calling our next uh, favorite uh, star, find a great film and put him in it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Vijay Varma. And I, I'm hoping that uh, the most important reason is darlings. How do you feel about being on stage today for such a wonderful film? Uh, I feel very good about this, but at the same time, I'm very, very nervous and partly shivering inside these Why? layers. Why? Why are you shivering inside so many layers? I think I have like a fear of public talking. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't we know, can't get rid of the public. <laughs> now, if I say something, I sound wrong. If I don't say anything, I sound wrong. So, what nee, I, I give you a hug? <laughs> Will that be right? Or I'll do it myself. Okay, I'll do it myself. But we have to do things. Yes, huh? so I'm ready? ready for that. Yeah, at some point. But before we get down to the talking, uh, I'd like to call back uh, Monica, Shergill and Venki on stage, please, before we start having... Um, if we can come together for a photo opportunity. Already? Baad chair wear nikal ke photo photo karke, huh? Jaise producer chahe. Achha, we're supposed to say, we're all on wrong. Yes. All right. Lovely. You know, lots and lots of conversations uh, to be had, but firstly and most importantly, Alia, Gaurav, I'd like to start with you. You know, how did, how did this, um, I mean, no pun intended on the word, but how did this marriage happen between <laughs> Red Chili's and Eternal Sunshine? As I said earlier, we narrated this film sometime in uh, 2019, November. I had met uh, Reshma for some other work. I briefed her, okay, we have a, something that we want to take it to Alia. We, I briefed her about two lines. And by the evening, I got a call, okay, we want to know more. This is exciting. And we, me and Jasmeet went to narrate the film. And by the end of it, I think we could see the excitement throughout the film as the narration progressed. But by the end of it, we just didn't have an actor, but we also had a partner producer. And that's how it started, that simple as. So, you know, Alia, when he says that you, did you already think that you were on the verge of becoming a producer and were you waiting for that one script or was it because the script came forward to, to you and then you were like, okay, now I want to turn producer. Which way was it? It kind of happened at the same time. Darlings came to me. And when the narration started, I thought, yes, I mean, where is it going? Because I didn't know what the film was about. I was totally blank slate. And actually, 2019, when I met uh, Jasmeet and Gaurav, I had a very packed schedule. So I, but I have this thing, I was like, listen, I will listen to every script and hear every narration or read every script because you never know. Cut to the story started. It started like a normal story, normal, normal. Suddenly, it just shifted gear and how and I was like, from here, I was here. And I was like that the whole narration, which is, I was like so surprised and I'm very rarely surprised. So then I was like, okay, 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 one second, one second. We have to do this. And then very naturally, I was like, okay, listen, I think I would like to be a producer on this as well. And Gaurav at that moment was extremely supportive. He was like, that's a fantastic idea. We must do this together. Then Shah Rukh called me and he said, I usually co-produce, but I will do it with you. And we will do it with you. We will do it with you and it will be quite good and it will be one for the memories. And recently he saw the film and he messaged me and he said, in typical darlings lingo, thanks you darlings for doing these movies. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm assuming that by the 6th of August, all of us are going to be speaking more in plural. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one, guys. Yeah, all reviews in plurals, which also means many, many stars, guys. <laughs> no, you know, and then because we're on the subject of hearing the script for the first time, um, Jasmeet, I'm going to come to you. 
what was it like? Like, did you think that, okay, I'm, while you were writing, co-writing the film, yeah. obviously um, you've been with the film longer than anyone has. So did you think at that point that, hey, I'm, were you writing it hoping that Alia comes on board? Or what was it? Like, how did this happen? Because, you know, it's the first time. Everyone s starts and thinks that, hey, we're going to cast Alia but in a film. But you had it. You got her. And, you know, and she said yes instantly. No, I just gave my best shot to Alia Bhatt. But uh, when we were writing, we, I, I had an idea of a mother-daughter finding their place in this male-dominated world and trying to set the daughter's marriage on track uh, with her husband Hamza because they love each other, but there's something off with them. And uh, we co-wrote the script, me and Parvez, and uh, I took it to Gaurav because I was writing something else for him. And he liked the script. And then we just took it to Alia. We like is an understatement. Huh? Sorry, so, see again, Gaurav. Like is an understatement. So when we got the script, see, just me then we were working on something existing IP of ours. We wanted to contemporize it. Yeah. In the, in the meanwhile, we got the script and we wrote the script around. Me, I read it, Vikram from our team read it, and a couple of us read it. Next day, we met in office. Everyone was like, wow, this is something. And that was like then. It's like probably in 12 hours, we decided, okay, this is something that we want to pursue. So at that point, you're like, wow, this is something, chalo, Alia ko phone kare. Of course. That's great. I mean, that's how great work happens, you know. I mean, that's great. And I feel like this entire, everyone's come together in like between 12 and 24 hours. I want to ask, you know, all our other actors that as well. Um, Shafali, when you were given the script, like what was your first and initial reaction when you read it? I actually didn't take 12 or 24 hours. I think I took around 12 minutes post the narration and reading the script. Uh, Explain yeah, to was, us, what was the room like? Uh, one, I thought it was, I still believe it's one of the best scripts I read. And uh, it's a very poignant story, but it doesn't have a moral of the story, which is always a little harder to digest. Uh, it's funny, it's wicked. And uh, the character I play, I mean, it's a genre I've never play, done before. And the character I play, I mean, I think she's a cracker. And like just said, I mean, there's not something, there's something, everything totally off with the mother-daughter. Yeah. Which Sorry, is totally off with us? With the? With the mother-daughter. Oh, with the mother-daughter. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Guys. Okay. <laughs> and then minute 12 into the script, you were like, yes, I'm going to do this. Yeah. That's great. I mean, just... This is amazing. Like, I'm just like, I'm so excited to watch the film, just hearing the fact that the narration...